computer. All righty. Well, welcome to Young Living Skincare. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you, and we will get started with our beauty lines. So tonight, what I'm covering is not um, every Young Living Beauty product. Sorry now, but did you need something? Sorry, my, my six-year-old came in. What? No, no, I'm just Okay, well, don't check on me. I'm doing a class, okay? Love you. I love that I can do my Young Living job while parenting. It's awesome. Okay, so um, Young Living Beauty lines. The reason I said lines is in this is I'm not covering product singles like the Sandalwood Cream or Wolfberry Eye Cream or the Acne Treatment. Those will all be next week. This is going to be if it is multiple products in one line. So there's only three lines that I'm aware of for beauty, and that is the Orange Blossom line, the Mira line, which is not really skincare, but it's kind of combination with what we're covering, so I included it, and then also the Art Skincare System. So we're gonna go through all of those. So you can see all of those products right here. We've got Art has way more products than this, and the reason that Art has so many is it's been around the longest. Before, there was just an orange blossom face wash, and it had a different look than this one does now. They reformulated it so it can be used for both combination and oily skin, and included when they did that the charcoal bar soap and the orange blossom uh, moisturizer, which I love that smell. I could eat my face wash. I won't, but it's so good. And then um, the Mira is both a cleansing oil, and then the other one is a um, nourishing hair treatment, okay? So we'll get into those later. Okay, so here is the orange blossom line. So you can see, first of all, this charcoal bar soap, it is black. So there is one little caveat with this. Keep it in a soap dish, otherwise you're gonna have gray little streaks all around your sink if you're using it as a soap bar in the morning or keep it in a little dish in your shower or in a soap dish, but just make sure you tell people, don't use it. I mean, I guess you could use it on your whole body, but you know, for me, I would use it more on my face, unless you're, you have somebody who's struggling with breakouts on their back or things like that, because there is activated charcoal in this, all of those essential oils and the activated charcoal is gonna help with cleansing. So we've got the face wash here. It is now reformulated to be 100% plant-based. One thing that was happening with some Young Living products is they had, like for instance, mink oil in the Animal Sense line. That has all been reformulated to be completely vegan. So they're moving towards a much more vegan-friendly product line. Um, it maintains healthy looking skin, leaves skin uh, clean and soft, it removes dirt and oil from your pores, reduces oily skin and surface oils, so that's why it's for normal to oily skin. And um, it also maintains the skin's natural moisture barriers. So what that means is it's not going to strip your skin so it feels dry and gross. It's going to keep that, the natural oils of your skin, but it's not going to turn your face into an oil slick. Okay, so these slides, sorry about some of these pictures. They were literally snapshots I took on my phone at convention. So, but I did not find anything anywhere that broke some of these things down as well as they did at convention. So here they are in all of their glory. So the key ingredients are copaiba, which is a, uh, rich in the constituents of beta carophylline and alpha humulene, look those words up, and it will tell you how beneficial that is for you, and aroba, and I've been told it's pronounced acai oil, not acai, I have always messed that up. So, clinically tested to reduce oil and improve the appearance of your skin, it has 12 botanical extracts. So these are things that are not essential oils. They are extracts from plants. So essential oils are when steam is distilled across plant material, oil comes out of this. This is different than that. I mean, I guess it could be cold pressing. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't exactly know how botanical extracts are made. For those of you looking at this on YouTube, you can leave it in the comments. <laughs> anyway, but so we have orange blossom extract, St. John's wort, calendula, kelp, rose flower, chamomile flower, sugar cane, algae, camellia, lemon peel, orange peel, and 
apple extract. It has naturally cleansing essential oils of lavender, lemon, rosemary, and patchouli. And it smells amazing. Okay, so this is the Orange Blossom Moisturizer. So after you wash your face, obviously when you've taken all those oils out, even though it's a gentler formula that's not going to strip your skin, I am somebody, and most people are, that really benefit from a moisturizer. So this is light, refreshing, and it will also support most oily complexions. So it's going to go on very light, and it's not going to make your face feel weighed down like your pores are blocked and really heavy. It's not like that. It soothes, softens, calms, and moisturizes skin. It improves the appearance of your skin. It's non-greasy, so instead of feeling like, ugh, afterwards, you're just going to, you hopefully will not feel it at all, but you know, that's, um, but non-greasy, non-irritating and non-comedogenic. It is also vegan friendly. And then the key findings, 90% in the in people surveyed who used the product said it helped their skin to stay hydrated and 82% said that the moisturizer helped to clear their skin. So that's nice too. Okay, and then the key ingredients in the moisturizer are licorice root extract, microalgae, cocoa butter, vitamin E, and deroba oil. And then it just said 13 botanical, botanical extracts. I have not finished my current moisturizer, so I have not busted into this one yet. So I can go look at mine and see what's in it, but I did not realize I didn't put that up, sorry. And then essential oils, obviously. Okay, charcoal bar soap. This is a complement to the orange blossom system, and it is deeply purifying for all skin types. So if you know somebody who struggles with a lot of angry skin, <laughs> that's going to be the way that I choose to refer to that, um, then this is going to be one thing that they should add into their skincare regimen. doesn't matter if they use the other orange blossom uh, products or not. This charcoal bar soap is going to be very cleansing to the skin. So it has that lovely orange blossom smell. I love that smell. It is amazing. I can't say it enough. Uh, but it promotes clear, healthy looking skin and leaves skin soft and smooth. Again, because it's a bar soap, another thing is if you break out pretty much anywhere, you can use it anywhere on your body and just keep it in the shower if you want. Okay, so it, it, it has powerful absorptive properties to draw out dirt, oil, and skin impurities. It features the highest level of activated charcoal in any Young Living product offered. Um, the, that's why it's black. Um, the formula is sourced from coconut shells instead of wood, making it sustainable. And it is a perfect companion to the uh, orange blossom face wash and moisturizer. It contains aloe vera leaf extract, lavender, patchouli, rosemary, lemon, and it is made of all natural ingredients. Okay, so this is the Nira system. It has both clean, a cleansing face oil and a nourishing hair oil, okay? So this is the Mira Luminous Cleansing Oil. It includes sandalwood, jasmine, rose, jojoba, and argan oil. Before I get too far into this, I wanna tell you, this is meaning, yes, you do wash your face with oil. And a lot of people are kind of hard set on, their mind is set on, but you have to use soap to remove makeup, remove impurities, all sorts of things. That's not necessarily true. In fact, there have been times when I would use a soap to try to take off my makeup, especially before they came out with the Savvy Minerals Mascara. That one comes right off because it's natural ingredients. But when you get some of those cosmetics that have some not so natural ingredients, have you ever noticed when someone has the raccoon eyes because they washed their makeup off but it didn't come off all the way? Well, normally when you're really trying to get rid of especially stubborn eye makeup, they suggest cutting it with a good organic oil. And so that's, it actually does help to lift impurities off of the skin without stripping the skin of its natural moisture and its natural oils. So um, the oil-based cleanser, it rids the skin of dirt, oils, and impurities, including makeup and water-resistant sunscreens. It contains antioxidants to improve skin texture and skin appearance. It softens and moisturizes the skin, and it is vegan-friendly. So that means it's not gonna have animal products in it. 
Okay, the Miral Lustrous Hair Oil. Later on this month, um, maybe tomorrow we'll see how our day goes. My daughter, Abby, has hair down to her hiney and it is curly, very curly. And so one of the things with her, we cannot brush her hair when it's dry. We have to soak her hair before we can brush it. And one thing I notice is as she plays throughout the day, her hair gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And it's the same thing, like especially with this Texas humidity, because we live in Houston, it get in the summer, oh my, all the little frizzies and flyaways and curly hair tends to be very dry as well. Now this is for all hair types, but for me, I have very baby fine hair and my skin and my hair are prone to being oily. So for me to use a product like this, I would use it more towards the ends of my hair down here. I wouldn't put it up on my scalp. That's just me personally. Um, for Abby though, I have put that on her from head like the top of her head all the way down to the ends of her hair. And even with as long as her hair is, I think I did 14 drops and I was able to give her hair this sheen and make it look very smooth, but still radiantly beautiful. Like her curls bounced and were shiny and pretty. It looked like a hair commercial. So that was one of those things that I was really impressed with this, that it's not like it took half the bottle. It was only about 14 drops, and I just did like that on my hands. And then I, I started kind of at the ends of her hair, because with curly hair, those ends tend to get kind of dry. And then just kind of scrunched my way up her head, and it looked beautiful. So it improves the manageability of hair, minimizes frizz and tangles. You can use it on wet or dry hair, and it is also vegan friendly. It includes argan, marula, Manoy oils uh, and Manoy oils to um, enrich hair and leave it soft and shiny. All right, so let's get into the art skincare system. So we're going to go through each of the art products and we'll talk a little bit about what they do. Um, I will get into a little bit more information than what's just on the page. And then at the end of these uh, products, we're gonna get into just some suggestions. It's not a hard and fast rule, but if you know what skin type you are, we're gonna make some product suggestions, okay? So in this gentle cleanser, we have frankincense, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, melissa, lemon, and lavender. Um, I use this cleanser, I use one pump. I do not need any more than that, and it does take off my eye makeup, and my face does feel clean afterward. However, I am also someone who needs a toner, and I have found that, and there is one supplied in this line as well. So, it has green tea leaf extract. Green tea is rich in antioxidants. Ginkgo biloba as well. Um, citric, ac citric acid, aloe vera leaf juice, and retinol palmit palmitate. Um, the Art Gentle Cleanser supports healthy glowing skin by washing away impurities with a soft, gentle lather. lather. This is a foaming pump bottle, so instead of coming out with like a liquid soap, it is going to be a foam, and I just use one pump, and it takes off all of my makeup. It is infused with skin-loving essential oils, and your face will feel clean and refreshed with a renewed and radiant look, and you can, uh, it tells you pairings that you can use with this as well. So I also have the essential oil desk reference and um, let me see. So the Art Gentle Cleanser is formulated from naturally occurring sugars and contains ingredients that penetrate the epidermis to remove unwanted oils and impurities. One quarter of this cleanser is, comp compo is composed of pure therapeutic grade essential oils that were specifically selected for their skin enhancing benefits. So this stuff has a lot of good stuff in it. So I wanted to make sure that I covered that part as well. Okay, so here we have the toner and it, um, it has sandalwood, peppermint, frankincense, lavender, and lemon. Uh, it also has Melissa leaf for skin conditioning, aloe vera, orchis mescula, witch hazel, water, and green tea extracts. Witch hazel is an astringent, so that's gonna help shrink your pores back down. And all of these other things, basically once you've washed your face, sometimes you can miss a few things. So when you use a toner, one thing I found, uh, or one thing that some uh, friends of mine have, have said, is if you wanna make your toner last a little bit longer, instead of 
putting the liquid onto one of those little cotton rounds, you can instead uh, put a little spritzer bottle either on this bottle or pour some of the toner into a little spritzer bottle, spritz your face, and then wipe it off your face with the cotton round. That way your product will last a little bit longer. Um, so it remo removes impurities without drying out your skin. It helps remove all leftover residue particles. So whatever you don't get off from washing your face, this helps just cleanse out your pores with one more step. It helps to minimize the appearance of your pores and uh, assists in the appearance of toned skin. So it's the second step in the art skincare line. So after the cleanser, we do the toner. So the toner here, um, a toner is a necessary step in any comprehensive skincare regimen. The art purifying toner helps to support cleansing by removing unwanted oil, dirt, and impurities that it can accumulate on the skin. It is designed to work in synergy with other products in the art skincare system, and the purifying toner contains essential oils that we already said what, what it has. Okay, so it absorbs quickly and leaves the skin feeling clean, smooth, and soft, and it also minimizes oily shine and reduces the appearance of pores. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so here we have the Art Light Moisturizer. I think they also have an Art Intensive Moisturizer. The reason I included the Art Light Moisturizer is this is the one you can get the three, the cleanser, the toner, and the moisturizer as a trio, and you do save money if you buy them as a bundle. So that is an option as well. So I'm going, to, I'm going to go ahead and cover the light moisturizer though. So it has frankincense and royal Hawaiian sandalwood. It also has honeysuckle flower and leaves extract, olive oil, kupu, kupuaku seed butter, God bless me, um, meadow foam, squalane, uh, green tea, aloe vera, op, opuntia, Ficus extract, summer snowflake bulb, orchid extract, kilaja, kilaja, kil, something. It's got extracts. We're just going to leave it there. Uh -huh. Yes. So I want to tell you, uh, I had some friends get back from beauty school, and one of the things that they highlighted, and you're going to see as you go through a lot of these uh, art products, is you keep seeing orchid extract pop up. It's not just because it's pretty. So, uh, I'm going to read a little clip here. I got this from porcelainfacespa.com. So, if you want to learn more, you can go there. But uh, one thing that they made a comment about is orchids are not just beautiful. They are also known to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Plus, they act as antioxidants and humectants. Humectants draw moisture into the skin. This will soothe and condition our skin. In, uh, it is one of skincare's beauty secrets, restoring the smooth, radiant complexion and flawless tone. Orchid leaves contain pigment, certain pigments from a group of plant pigments called anthocyanins. These synthesize in response to stressors like UV radiation, temperature extremes, drought, diseases, pollution, and in turn do the same wonders for your skin. So that means there's certain things within that orchid that it protects that orchid from those external harming factors. And when you take that extract from that orchid, you apply those benefits to your skin. So anthocyanins are a part of a larger group of phytochemicals called flavonoids, which are known for their antioxidant and anti, and um, they'll basically help with puffiness in your face. We'll put it that way. I'm trying to avoid some of those anti words. Um, certain flavonoids have, um, uh, basically it's going to help fight re free radical damage and um, they have up to four times more vitamins of E and C. So orchids help to soothe and enhance tone while minimizing oxidative stress. So that's kind of nice too because you think of, I mean, your face is always in the sun. If it's a bright sunny day, People can get sunburned even if they didn't go to the beach. So that's one of those things that um, if it's just something that helps to be that nourishing repair to your skin, that's why they put that orchid extract in there. So that is one thing I just wanted to highlight. 
So the Art Light Moisturizer helps your skin retain and maintain high, proper hydration. It helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and supports your skin's elasticity. And with Young Living Essential Oils and natural ingredients, your face will feel soft and supple, preparing your canvas like a beautiful work of art. So, all right, so now we have the Renewal Serum. So again, revitalizing blend of orchid petals and essential oils. So there's that orchid popping up again, and we see how beneficial that is. So frankincense, myrrh, and sensation oil blend. Okay, so traditional Chinese herbs and <laughs> Philonopsis flower, Japanese knotweed, angelica root, saffron, tremella, oat protein, salt of hyalur hyaluronic acid, orchid, and botanical extracts. Art Renewal Serum is an intricate blend of exotic orchid petals and essential oils that helps to protect and revitalize skin. These premium ingredients work in harmony to deeply nourish and hydrate the face, creating vibrancy and health that radiates from within. This contains um, a special polyphenol group, transresveratrol, for firm toned skin. Okay, let me see. I think I had something else to say about this. Nope, sure didn't. Just kidding. <laughs> I was trying to remember. I think there were two products that I was going to refer to the reference here for, but that wasn't one of them. Okay, so here we go. Sheer the May. Uh, this is out of stock right now, so I'm sorry if you're watching this in August of 2018. Hopefully it will be back soon. Okay. So Young Living's Proprietary Essential Oil Blend, it is a combo of botanical extracts, Madonna Lily for brightening and invigorating effects, licorice root extract, fractionated coconut oil, kakadu plum, go-to koala, co cola, not koala, just kidding. There's no little bears in this, just heads up, and plumeria. Okay, so you can use this morning and night to unveil a radiant, flawless looking complexion. Combined with a sophisticated uh, plant-based ingredient, Shirley May will visibly brighten and evenly tone your skin. It may significantly approve, Im I'm sorry, improve the appearance of your complexion, lightness, and intensity of dark spots. So, I need to try that. Visibly brightens and balances your skin tone and unveils radiant looking skin. So when I'm saying I need to try that, it's because there are so many products that Young Living has. I've tried some, I have not been able to try them all yet. And so there are a lot of things that are on my wish list. And so this is one of them. And when it comes back in, you can bet I'm gonna jump on it because it is worth it. So, and anyone that has tried it has said that they absolutely love it. So there's that. Okay, so we have the cream mask, and hold that thought. Just want to make sure that Sheer LeMay was not one of the ones that I needed to cover extra. Nope, okay. All right, so the cream mask has vetiver, divana, Roman chamomile, lang lang, geranium, vanilla, aqua tea, and jasmine. I bet that smells amazing too because those are all really nice smelling um, essential oils. So it has aloe vera, squalane, olivum, liquid crystals, fractionated coconut oil, avena sativa, panthenol, hyaluronic acid, apple pectin, vitamins, and cucumber extract. So the cream mask is formulated to cleanse, soften, moisturize, and protect the skin using an exclusive blend of hyaluronic acid and pure essential oils. It may also help to soothe, tighten, and restore the look of youthfulness of the skin. In order to use this, wash and dry your face and apply it evenly. Let it sit for about 20 minutes and then remove any excess residue with a moist towel. You don't have to go wash your face. You just wipe it off. All right. Let me just check. Here. Okay, cool. So this is the Art Beauty Mask. 
and it has stress away essential oil blend and lavender. Oh my goodness. That's like when I combine those two. Oh yeah. See, <laughs> I see, I see Denise in the background. Yeah, girl. All right. So Boswellia Carteri resin extract. So this is going to be Boswellia Carteri is frankincense. And so it's going to be frankincense resin, aloe vera, and comia ulmoides. It's very exotic and fancy. Um, Japanese knotweed, uh, orchid flower extract, there's our orchid again, and safflower. So you can enjoy a home spa experience uh, by promoting the appearance of younger looking and vital and radiant skin while helping to soften the look of fine lines. The Art Beauty Mask is a premium fabric orchid based formula designed to soothe the skin and leave it feeling healthier and more radiant. The blend of exotic orchid petals and pure essential oils nourishes and fortifies the most delicate areas of the face. So what I've understood is, this might be the one that I was wanting to, okay, yes. So the Beauty Mask features a concentrated formula designed to smooth the skin and feel, leave it feeling healthier and looking more radiant. Um, let's see, it, the exotic blend of orchid petals and essential oils help to nourish stressed areas and promote promote a, a more youthful appearance and it is suitable for all skin types. Now they say to wash and dry your face, remove the mask from the pouch and unfold with the plastic lining facing outward. Place over the entire face and remove the lining. Use your hands to smooth the mask for even coverage. Leave the mask on for 20 minutes, then gently remove and discard. Use a damp cloth to remove any residue. And uh, you can use it in combination with the Art Renewal Serum. So both of those are going to renew, uh, kind of think about it this way. We are scrubbing our faces constantly with soap. And yes, we're putting things back on when we moisturize and use toners and things like that. But with how much our face is exposed to wind and weather and sun and especially when you have those cumulative effects over time, it's nice to every once in a while just give yourself a little spa treatment. It's, there's a reason why you feel better after you go to the spa is your body needs to be pampered every now and again. And I don't mean that that means you have to put cucumbers over your eyes and, you know, be wrapped up in seaweed. It doesn't mean that. It just means, you know, to take care of your skin every so often just to kind of keep it looking its best. Okay, so we're going to go along each skin type. This is by no means a requirement. These are just little suggestions for what you can use if you have this type of skin, okay? So if you have normal skin, start with either the Art Gentle Cleanser or the Orange Blossom Face Wash in the morning and in the evening. You can exfoliate with the Satin Facial Scrub. We'll talk about that one next week because that's a product single. Um... Uh, they have a, a mint scrub as well, um, and then you can do that two to three times a week. You don't want to exfoliate too often because remember, you have to slough off more dead skin cells. If you're doing that every day, you can eventually start scraping off healthy layers of skin. That's called abrasions, and it's painful, so don't do that, but you know, a couple of times a week, you should be good. All right, tone with the Art Refreshing Toner and follow, um, and you can do that after cleansing or after exfoliation. For toner, I use mine every day, so there's that. Um, you can restore, so if you need restoration in your skin, these are some optional additives. You could do the Art Renewal Serum for uh, the delicate face areas twice a day. You can use the Art Light Moisturizer. I normally like to do that in the morning, and then you can do a heavier moisturizing cream at night, which we'll get into some of those in the um, single products next week. Um, and then if you want to refine, this is, again, it says based on needs for a reason. So if your skin, like let's say that you went out and you spent a whole week in the sun on vacation, or you got wind burn, or you know there's some of those things where you've, your skin needs an, a little extra TLC. You know what those are. Um, Art Beauty Mask, Wolfberry Eye Cream, Shu LeMay, Art Cream Mask. There's a lot of different products that can help support you. So now, when each one of these, whether it's normal skin, oily skin, and so on, has blends of essential oils that were recommended. So um, this one, 
Rosewood is no longer available. The reason being is it has become an endangered plant species, and so obviously Young Living can't go farm something if it's endangered. So for rosewood though, when I looked up the properties of rosewood, I would swap in Kunzia that was just released at convention for rosewood. So, um, and you can see there's a very big difference between line one and line two. Lavender, Kunzia, and geranium, much more affordable. Rose, neroli, and sandalwood, they expensive. So if you can afford the rose, neroli, and sandalwood, they are phenomenal oils, but that's not in everybody's price bank. So be aware of that. Okay, for oily skin, um, let's see. So Art Gentle Cleanser, Orange Blossom Face Wash, morning and night, satin facial scrub two to three times a week. Okay, I think they put this in weird. Um, I think it's the satin mint facial scrub. So I don't know why they put it as comma mint but maybe that's where I'm getting that. Okay, um, the toner, definitely need a toner. I have very oily skin, I need a toner. Um, you can use the Art Renewal Serum as well and the Art Light Moisturizer. If you have very dry skin, which we'll get into that later, then you can start using some of those heavier ones. If you have very oily skin, I would stick with the Light, mo uh, light Moisturizer instead of the Intensive Moisturizer. And then again, the beauty mask will fray eye cream and so on. So five drops each of two oils, either cedarwood and chamomile or geranium and lavender. So those are ones that are going to help with your, your skin on your face. Um, when I'm applying essential oils to my face, I typically don't do them neat, which means without a carrier oil, but I don't want to go and just put oil straight on my face. So, especially since I have oily skin. So if you're gonna be using the Art Light Moisturizer, that's the prime time if you wanna add extra essential oils to add that to your Art Light, Light Moisturizer. So if you wanna go ahead and pump a little bit into your hand and then add your however many drops. And please, if you've never used essential oils before, don't jump right into five drops, that's lots. And so maybe start with one drop of each and then build from there. You don't need to like, go big or go home. Less is more with essential oils. So when you have gotten used to things, go on from there. But don't don't go crazy right off the bat or you'll have some of those negative experiences. And just a little bit of troubleshooting help. If you get oils in your eyes, rinse your eyes thoroughly with water. In fact, I have even rubbed near my eye, with, like I don't drop like coconut oil or something into my eye, but rub near it with a carrier oil. And then with the rest of your face, if you get a really hot oil or you're having, like I, I think that I'm having a problem with this particular oil, you can take a carrier oil like coconut oil, jojoba oil, avocado oil, put a little dab in your hand, just wipe it off and then wash your face again with your regular cleanser. So that's just a way of troubleshooting in case you get more oil than you expected, more essential oil than you expected, that's a way to troubleshoot that. Okay, whoops, what I do here? I broke it. I'm sorry. Oh, good, I fixed it. Okay, so combination skin. Again, same cleanser, same, you know, exfoliation, the toner. Um, let's see. I'm trying to see if there's anything really different. A lot of them, the, the thing that's really great is a lot of these um, protocols, it, you can kind of see it works no matter what type of skin you have. So that's kind of nice. But anyway, so the Art Light Moisturizer Sandalwood Moisture Cream. The Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream is thick. It's got shea butter in it. So you think of like a body butter where it's heavier. I personally, because especially because I have oily skin, I would use that closer to night. Um, but if you are someone, we're going to get into that with the dry skin stuff, but, and then the Boswellia wrinkle cream as well. Um, let's see. So the three drops each of three oils, so nine drops total. And again, please start with like three drops and work your way up, but cedarwood, chamomile, and geranium or lavender, myrrh, and sandalwood. Myrrh is amazing for your skin. If you have very angry skin, myrrh is going to be your best friend. So that's, that's helpful. Okay, dry skin. So we've got the Art Gentle Cleanser 
And they're saying like right here, this was I think made before the Mira cleansing oil came out. This is where I would swap out the gentle cleanser for the Mira. If you are somebody who's prone to very dry skin, then washing with the soap is extra drying. So this is just an opportunity for you to, if you have very dry skin, clean with an oil and then that way you're maintaining some of that hydration. So do that morning and evening. And if you do have dry skin, you might try maybe cleansing with an oil in the evening before you go to bed and in the morning wake up and wash your face with soap. So you could try the Art Gentle Cleanser in the morning and the Mira face uh, cleansing oil in the evening. Okay, so we've got the satin uh, facial scrub, we've got the Art Refreshing Toner still, the Renewal Serum, Sandalwood Moisturizing Cream, so there you see that's the really thick one, the one that has uh, shea butter in it and a lot of really nourishing oils, but it is heavier, okay? Rose ointment. Now, rose ointment, it is very, it is practically solid. Like, you have to scrape some of it out of the container until you've kind of worked your way into it a little bit. Um, and so that would be one of those that it's, because it's got heavier carrier oils in it, it will kind of melt on your skin. But so then you can apply it, but you would kind of have to do like that a little bit. You wouldn't just go put a chunk on your head. Obviously, that would be weird. Um, and then Boswellia Wrinkle Cream is another option. And then the same um, additions as well. So for dry skin, Roman Chamomile, Geranium, and Sandalwood, or Clary Sage, Frankincense, and Roman cam Chamomile. Okay, a little caveat here. If you are pregnant and you have dry skin, do not use clary sage. Don't use clary sage until you're in labor because it can cause uterine contractions. So just wanna give you a little caveat on that. You wanna be safe when you're using your oils. So, um, but other than that, like if, if you have really dry skin with pregnancy, stick with the Roman chamomile. Um, Roman chamomile, I wanna say, is out of stock. So with this, for me personally, you could do sandalwood, geranium, and maybe swap out tea tree or lavender. Um, but I'm looking here. Yeah, the Roman chamomile is very, very nice. I know there's a German chamomile, but I think they do different things. So maybe just do your research on that before you get that. Kunzia was not released when this was made, this little graphic. Um, I got this from Oil Revolution Designs. I love that company. Um, but um, I would say if Roman chamomile is still not available, then maybe try Kunzia because it is really, really good for your skin. Okay, and then we have our mature skin. That means our very, very wise skin. Okay, so we have the Art Gentle Cleanser or Orange Blossom Face Wash again. Um, the Satin uh, Facial Scrub, the Art Refreshing Toner, the Art Renewal Serum, and then Sandalwood Mo So they are recommending the Sandalwood Moisture Cream or Boswellia Wrinkle Cream, which are both heavier, so they're still going to have that shea butter in there. And then the same based on your needs. You can use any of those ancillary products. I have heard a lot of people who have under eye puffiness, um, like dark circles, um, basically wanting a little bit of tightening in this region. I use that Wolfberry eye cream. Fortunately, I don't have really puffy eyes, but I still love it anyway, and it smells amazing. But um, if, if you struggle with that under eye puffiness, that Wolfberry eye cream is going to be your new best friend. So then you want five drops each of two oils. And again, start with one drop of each and work your way up. Clary Sage, which if you have mature skin, you are probably not pregnant. Um, Clary Sage and Neroli, or Palmarosa and Rose. Rose oil is one of those, oh my goodness, it has so many benefits. Like if you look up what all rose oil can do, it's redonkulous. I mean, it's, you can put that on pretty much anything and it's going to make it better. It's just one of the most costly oils because of how much work it takes to distill rose oil. So heads up on that. But um, the cheaper option would be Clary Sage and Neroli then, which Clary Sage, I love the way it smells. I love the way Neroli smells. So really those would be good options as well. 
Okay, and then for our sensitive skin, um, so they're saying kind of the same thing as the dry skin is do a face wash or you can use V6 oil or the Mira Luminous Cleansing Oil. Um, don't tone. If you have really sensitive skin, sometimes those toners can dry your skin out or make them unhappy, basically make them a little bit angry. So you can do the exfoliation if you need to, but you're going to do better if you have really sensitive skin to just cleanse and then use one of those other products on down the line, like the Renewal Serum, things like that. The rose ointment, very, very good for your skin. So if you have even any little breakouts or spots or things that you're trying to have fade more quickly, uh, the rose ointment is awesome. And then um, three drops each of three oils. Again, start one drop of each and build up. Chamomile, Melrose, and frankincense, or lavender. Okay, this is the Mel A is Melaleuca eternifolia. There's multiple types of Melaleuca. Um, I don't remember what all the different ones were. I think there's two or three of them. But Melaleuca eternifolia is just tea tree. Kunzia is a little, it's kind of like a little neighbor. It's not quite a sibling of tea tree, but it's in that family. And so if you wanted to give Kunzia a try, you could swap that out and do like a uh, chamomile, lavender, and uh, Kunzia, or, you know, you can do the chamomile, um, lavender, and uh, tea tree if you wanted, either way. So I always try to end with a quote. So as you move through the day, be aware of how you treat yourself because you set the standard for others. And really the reason I put that is because so often, I mean, who's using all of these skincare lines typically? Women, right? And so oftentimes if we're wives and we are mamas and we are employees and we actually have all of these other people in our lives, we tend to put ourselves last and just kind of go and go and go, and we don't take the time to put back into ourselves what we really need to. And so I wanted to share this because I want you to know that you are worth the time, you are worth the effort, and you do need to take care of yourself. And so, you know, before you go and put a bunch of cosmetics on and try to hide every little blemish and things like that, if you're doing a really good job of taking care of that canvas, it's going to be a lot less work when you're trying to go and apply your cosmetics because you took care of yourself first. So just wanted to add that in and that will do it for our class this evening. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end our recording here. So I hope y'all enjoyed and I hope you learned something. And other than that, we will see you next week when we go over the product singles. So toodles.